Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So as you guys can see, I actually have different eye colours today. I've gone in with contact lenses. These are amazing. These are from the Natural Coloured Lenses Company. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, but I chose the green ones today. I just thought green would go well with the skull and everything and I wanted to change it up for Halloween. So that's what I did. And next I'm going to go in and start the eye makeup. So first things first, I'm going in and priming my eyelids. I did choose to do the eyes first today because um, we are using quite bright colours and there will be a bit of fallout and I didn't want that to go on to my foundation. So that's just a little tip for you guys if you are doing this look. Uh, I recommend doing the eyes first and then just cleaning up the fallout later. So firstly I'm taking a fluffy brush from Zueva. This is the crease brush and I'm just placing on that bright yellow from the Chi Chi Pride palette all over the outer corner and through the crease. Creating a nice transition colour for the other colours that we're going in with next. Then taking this slightly deeper yellow and a little bit of that orange shade. I'm going in on a more dense crease brush and applying that um, just underneath the yellow to create a bit of depth and dimension and a bit of transition into this deep orange that we're taking next from Sugar Pill in the shade Flame Point. I'm applying that with a petite crease brush all the way on the outer corner of the eye and a little bit, a little tad through the crease. And I like to go back in with a fluffy crease brush and some of those previous shadows to just blend out any harsh lines and edges so it's nice and seamless and blended. Next on a chisel shader brush from Morphe I'm taking this vibrant pink magenta colour and placing that all over my lid um, where there's blank space. So basically two thirds of the way across so from my inner corner to the centre of my lid I'm placing that pink colour down and then I take this kind of light pinky shade and just blend out the edges of the magenta colour. Then I'm going in with some of this orange shade again, Flame Point, and just blending out the edges of that magenta shadow into the orange, um, just so there's no harsh lines and edges. Then I'm taking this absolutely stunning eyeshadow from the Juvia's Place Deuce palette. It's called Tarte, and I'm packing that on with my finger on the center of the lid for a bit of a pop. It really shows through the eyeliner, so I really love this touch to the look. It's definitely a must-have. I loved it so, so much. And to highlight my brow bone, I'm going in with this stunning gold shadow from the Chi Chi Pride palette. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I use this all over my face, as you guys will see. I'm just obsessed with this shadow. But yeah, I'm using it to highlight my inner corner and brow bone today, just with a little pencil brush from Zoeva. Next is the more intricate part, so I'm actually going to map out the eye shape or like the butterfly shape first, just so I have a bit of an idea and a bit of a guide. So I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and on a Eeg Show lip brush, I'm going in and placing that NYX Jumbo Pencil down, just mapping out the lines of the butterfly eye shape I'm creating. Now I am using a little picture guide of a butterfly just to kind of get a little bit of an initial idea of what I'm following but basically as you guys can see I'm just kind of cutting my crease creating a little wing on the outer corner and then just doing little lines in the actual butterfly wing just mimicking like the shape of butterfly like a monarch butterfly I do draw a little wing down as well along my lash line so that I can hide the falsies that we go in with later and of course to connect the butterfly wing to the outer corner of the eye once I've created the kind of wing shape, I'm going in and creating those little lines across the lid. I just feel like it gives a bit more of a butterfly effect to the look. Again, I am quite light handed with this. I'm just mapping it out with the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And then with the eyeliner, I'm just drawing thin little squiggly lines along the lid, following those little line guides that we created before. And connecting it to the outer points of that wing with like a little triangle so that it looks more realistic. Um, connecting on to those wings if that makes sense. I also make some lines thicker, some lines thinner, just to kind of no rhyme or reason to it just to make it a bit more realistic like a butterfly wing. Next to actually give that butterfly effect I feel like this really brings the look together so if you are a bit like oh it's just not working out stick through guys by the end of this look it will come all together. I'm taking this body art paint from Global Colors 
and on a little eyeliner brush from Eeg Show. By the way, I do have a discount code. I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to purchase these brushes. I'm going in and placing little dots along the black lines that we created. Some dots are bigger than others, some dots are tinier. I just like to kind of change it up, make it a little bit more realistic. Uh, as you guys can see, I actually don't put any dots on the lines across the lid. It's all focused on those outer wing points, as you guys can see. Then for a little bit of a touch of glam, I go in with these cute little, uh, what would you call these, diamante pearl things? Little pearls. I'm going in and placing a bigger one on the wing point and two little ones where those lines connect. Just three in total. I thought it added a little bit of something extra. And I just got these little pearls from my local Spotlight store. For lashes today, I actually cut these lashes in a half. I wanted it to give a bit of more of like a outer corner effect, a bit more of a cat eye. So these are actually the Style Fairy from the Anitude Lashes. And like you can see, I just place them on the outer corners of my eyes. Just for a bit of the vum, you know, a bit of extra something something. Moving on to the skin, I'm going in and placing this primer down from Fat and the Moon and basically just going through my foundation routine. I'm not going to go into detail with this. You guys have your own routines usually. I will tell you the products, but I won't go into detail, of course. Like You guys can just see what I'm doing here. So I've placed the primer down, which is nice and moisturizing. It also is a natural primer, so that's why I love it as well. There's no nasty chemicals in there. Then I go in with my foundation, which is the Airborne Perfecting Liquid Foundation, and I'm in the shade Neutral Beige. For concealer, I'm going in with the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced, and I'm in the shade Cream Puff. Then I'm going to set that in place with the Raw Pressed Powder in the shade Nude 30, and I'm just pressing that into the skin. Then moving on to like, bronzing slash contouring the face, I'm actually going to go in with Color to mimic the butterfly, that butterfly skull shape that we're creating today. And I'm going in and creating a transition of colors. So we're starting off with the lightest shade. We're kind of mimicking the eyes basically, but on the face. So I'm taking this bright yellow shade on a Chi Chi bronzing brush and just going ham and placing that on all the points where you'd usually bronze the skin and also bring it down my neck slightly. Then I'm taking a slightly deeper yellow shade. This is Butter Cupcake from Sugar Pill and deepening up that yellow. Then I'm going to take Flame Point from Sugar Pill and I'm going to go in and deepen up the yellow with a bit of that orange. I start off lightly and then start building up that color. That is key with any look guys is to start light and then build up. If you have too much color there, it's actually harder to blend away. So it's better to take it nice and slow. Then going in with that beautiful pink magenta shade on a NP Set Blush Contour Brush. I'm kind of contouring with this shadow. As you guys can see, I actually did go a bit heavy handed with the magenta. I was a bit like, oh damn, oopsies. So I go back in with my beauty sponge and some of my foundation and I just go and fix that up. Just to blend away some of that harshness so it's a bit more seamless and soft and blended. That's also a great trick, guys, is to go over with your foundation brush or beauty sponge just to soften the color up a little bit and help it melt into the skin. For the kind of, would you say, antennae of the butterfly, I guess we could say, I'm going in with the yellow on a fluffy crease brush and applying that next to my brows uh, along that kind of nose bridge brow area as you guys can see here and just flicking it up towards the forehead. I'm placing most of the color on the bridge of the nose and then I'm just flicking it up in a kind of pointed shape and just kind of copying that shape with each shadow as we go along the gradient. So taking these two kind of orangey yellow shades and I'm just deepening up the antennae. And as you guys can see I'm just following that color gradient that we've used for the face and eyes. So taking flame point on a petite crease brush, deepening up the area again, then taking the magenta shade and further deepening it up following the color gradient. <laughs> I feel like I'm just repeating myself a fair bit here. Sorry guys, but you know, it's good to have a bit of repetition. Helps you guys remember it, I guess. <laughs> then I'm going in with my beauty sponge and softening up any harsh lines or edges. And then going in with my favorite shadow of the day, the gold shimmer shadow. And I'm just highlighting the kind of antennae area. Giving it a bit of like a kind of magical feel. I don't know, you know, just highlighting that kind of face forehead area. 
Then to give a bit more of that butterfly feels, we're of course going in with some of that body art white paint on an eyeliner brush again and just drawing little dots following that shape of the antennae all the way up to the tip top of that yellow area. So basically I'm starting thickest near the nose area and head of the eyebrow and then it tapers up into a point. And then next I'm actually going to move on to that like nose shape. I don't know what to call it, like the little butterfly nose, I don't know. I'm going in and placing down the yellow on a fluffy crease brush again first. Just kind of mapping out the shape that I want. Then of course following the colour gradient again, taking buttercup cake and further deepening the yellow. Then I'll take some of the orange shade, further deepen that up, and then I'll take some of the magenta to finish off the nose. So I'm going in and packing that pink on the very tip of the nose and blending it into the orange. I'm almost kind of contouring my nose as I'm doing this as well. Um, gives a bit more shape to the face, I guess. You know, the nose was a bit lost there, so this is quite an integral part to bring that kind of face shape back. It's kind of mimicking the skull feature to the face, I guess. Like, it reminds me of a skull nose with a bit of a butterfly add-on, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. And I do go back in with some of that gold shimmer shadow to highlight the nose a bit as well. Kind of tie the face together. Plus, I'm just obsessed with it. I want to highlight my whole face in it. I just, I love it so much. Next, for the more intricate bit, I'm going to take some eyeliner. This is the Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline, the same one we use to create the butterfly wings on our eyes. I'm just doing the little skull-like nose shape. I'm bringing it to a point where my nostrils are. This is optional to go straight in with eyeliner. You can, of course, use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk again and map out the shape if you feel like you need a bit more of a guide. I was like, screw it, let's just go straight in. Let's go ham, let's see how we go, and it was fine. I do thicken up the lines a little bit because we do go in with some of that white body paint again and give the nose a bit of that butterfly feature by putting those dots along the black lines that we create. Then taking that white body paint, like I said, we're just going to go in and place the dots along the black lines. Now I was sitting there looking at my nose thinking, I feel like it's missing something. Like I just feel like it's not quite finished. Like it was just too big of a gap. I felt a bit like Rudolph, but with an orange nose. So I just wanted to give a bit more of a butterfly touch. So I went back in with the Hyper Sharp Liquid Eyeliner. And you know how we did those lines on the actual eyelids? I just went in and replicated a bit of that on the nose as well. Then I went in with the white paint again and on the thickest parts of those little lines connecting to the nose, I go in a place a couple of white dots just here and there. Okay, moving on to the skull part of the face. I did want to map out the shape, so I've brought my handy dandy trusty NYX Jumper Pencil and Milk on the Eeg Show Lip Brush again. I'm going in and mapping out the shape of the skull jaw bone thing that we're going to draw on our face. Uh, I do love the NYX Jumper Pencil because it is so creamy, it's just so easy to blend out if you do make a mistake and it doesn't stand out on the face and it doesn't ruin your foundation, so it's a win-win in all cases. Then I'm taking this Mount Monty face paint um, in the shade black and on a foundation brush I'm just going in and placing that um, along the hairline and that first kind of section of the jaw. Don't bring it all the way across, I bring it about halfway but then I stop so FYI don't bring it across the whole part of your face. We are going to put some shadow in that other section but for the part closer to the hairline apply the black face paint. Then I go in and shade in the rest of the jaw. So I didn't want to show you every single you know, colour, but I basically go in with the yellow, the orange, a bit of the pink, um, and just kind of blend them all together. And once you have your beautiful little gradient again, it's time to put the details in the jaw. So I'm going in and just drawing in the features that I want in that jaw. So a couple of circles, semicircles actually. <laughs> um, just, you know anything that I want to be detailed in the actual jaw itself I go and I do that so you guys can see the detailings that I'm putting in now I'm not going to try and explain the little lines and squiggly things <laughs> once I'm happy with the outlines I'm going in with the eyeliner and going over the little guidelines that we've created 
I use little strokes and things to help be a bit more accurate and precise but you know you do you boo oh and I also forgot I did go in with a bit of black eyeshadow to blend uh, into the pinks because I felt like the black paint was a little bit too harsh I need it to melt into the pink you know I'm all about that melting life <laughs> you know me with my eyeshadows it has to be perfectly blended so I just took some black eyeshadow this is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and on a little precise crease brush no on a little petite crease brush I go in and just blend some of that pink into the black or black into the pink however you like to say it and then I go back in and continue my work with the eyeliner I was a little bit higgledy piggledy uh, sorry about that it doesn't all just flow together smoothly but you know I was also just winging this look so you guys gotta bear with me a little bit I really don't feel like this look looks like a butterfly until you add the white dots like I feel like the white dots just make the butterfly look what it is because I'm looking at this going like they just look like thick black lines you know but then once those white dots go on it's like magic it just all comes together by the way, sorry for my dog barking in the background. She thought it was a good time to bark at the birds as I'm talking here with you guys. <laughs> so yeah, taking that body art paint, just going in and applying those magical white dots down here and there along the thick black lines. Again, I'm doing different sized dots. So thicker dots on the darker, thicker lines and then thinner, littler dots on the thinner lines. Like, you know, common sense kind of thing. But I just feel like having different shaped dots gives it a bit more of a realistic effect. Alrighty, Rue. So I'm going to go in with these little Diamantes from Spotlight again. These are a different style Diamante. I wanted to be a bit extra today. I'm going in and just placing them on the uh, dark black bit of the cheeks the skull sorry the skull jaw just for a bit of extra glam I wanted this skull to be a bit more glam than scary alrighty moving on to the teeth of the skull so I'm not a professional teether I'm not one of those amazing skull teeth people that do such a great intricate little job I just drew little circles along my lips making the biggest teeth on the uh, biggest part of my lip and then the littler teeth tapering to the corner of my mouth. And then I just went and set that and I was using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk again, that little bad boy. I just use it for everything. I love it so much. Um, and to set that NYX Jumbo Pencil and make the white a little bit more vibrant, I go in with this stunning shimmery white shadow from the Folklore Travel Palette, the Perth one. And I set the teeth in place and drag it up towards the nose area and underneath my lip as well. Like skull teeth just seem to taper up, you know, into the gums. So I wanted to kind of replicate that as well. And I was looking at different skull pictures and everybody did that. And I thought it looked really cool. So that's what I did. <laughs> of course, I made the two front teeth the longest and then tapered it down again onto the little tiny teeth on the corner of my mouth. And to give it a bit of that gold effect, like I've been saying in this whole tutorial, I just want to place that gold on every part of my face. I want to just bathe in it. <laughs> so I'm placing some of that shimmery gold shadow um, to highlight my cupid's bow per se and drag it up the teeth. And I did that on all of the different teeth. I just kind of highlighted the outer part of my lip with it and then dragged it up the tooth, as you guys can see from me demonstrating. And voila! We're going to move back on to the eyes. So I initially went in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk because I thought I wanted white on my waterline. However, you'll see later on I actually go in with a nude eye curl and go over the top. I wanted it to be nude rather than white. But if you guys like the white, keep it with the white. If you like the nude, then go in with the nude straight away. Don't worry about the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And then to shade in my lower lash line, I follow that gradient backwards so I start with the darkest color which is the magenta pink and I go in and kind of wiggle that really closely to my bottom lash line then I'll go in with flame point on a pencil brush and I'll blend out the magenta eyeshadow then I'll take some of the light yellow shadow and I'll further blend out the orange but as you guys can see I just quickly duck in and put some of that nude eye coal on my waterline before I do go and blend out flame point and that's basically all I do for my bottom lash line. So I go in and apply mascara to my bottom lashes. 
and then I go in with some individual lashes on the bottom lash line. I did this because I wanted my bottom lash line to be a bit more full and have a bit more attention there. This is optional. It's not necessary if you guys aren't confident with applying lashes or you don't have individual lashes or you can't be bothered. It's just an extra step and it does give a little bit more glam to look, a little bit more attention to the eyes, but it definitely is not necessary if you don't want to do it. For my favorite bit, I actually get to apply the gold shadow as my face highlight today. So taking my NP set blush brush, I'm going in and applying the gold shadow to the highest points of my cheeks and chin. Basically just bathing in it like I said. And then finally to finish off the look, I'm going in with these little butterflies that I got from Spotlight as well. I had a big shopping spree at Spotlight the other day. Um, they were stunning and they actually inspired me to do the colours for this look. I loved the pink and the orange and the yellow together. It's like a little sunset kind of feel. So I used them as my little inspiration today. And I got these little ones too to place on my neck. I did go in with black paint and just fill in my neck to give more attention to the face. And then I went in with some gold highlight. That's the Maybelline Chrome. I think it's the Maybelline Chrome highlight or something. I'll have that link down below. But I used that and created little kind of incision highlight points on the neck. I don't know. What would you call that? Little jig jag lines just to give a bit more of a scary effect. And I liked it. I thought it was like kind of skin poking through the darkness. I don't know, bones, what would you call it with this look? But yeah, that was basically me finishing off the look. I did highlight my decolleté as well, my shoulders and my collarbones. Um, but you guys don't have to be as extravagant as me. Or you can bring the black paint all the way down. I didn't, I just kept it on the neck. I liked the look. It gave more attention to the face. But this here, guys, is the completed look. I did feel like this look was a little bit long, um, video wise, sorry about that, but I just had so many components that I wanted to show with you guys in this look. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you stuck through the e to the end, thank you. If you do recreate this look, please tag me in it. I always love seeing your recreations and I hope you have an amazingly wonderful Halloween. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much and take care. Mwah. Bye.